Hey, welcome back. Today I'm out at QMP. I'm doing a training day for myself today, so I'm coaching myself. Uh, what I'm doing is I've noticed that I've been through the corners, I'm chopping the throttle too much and the bike's standing up and I'm fighting it too much. So today I'm specifically working on how to improve my lap times by a couple of really simple steps. They are going to be one smooth throttle motion through the corners. So I'll be setting up a little bit better for the corners, getting my weight forward and instead of brup, brup through the turn, it'll be wah, one smooth throttle motion. So I hope you like those bike noises. Um, yeah, so we'll get out there and give it a crack. I'm going to go through a couple of just set up things I've done on my KX450. So firstly, I've chopped my muffler back 50 mil. So I've actually just cut it at home and dropped it back 50 mil because they were disgustingly long. Uh, it hasn't made much difference to the noise. I've gone back to running the standard 50, uh, 50 tooth rear sprocket. I'm running a KTM flat handlebar and I've actually got it in the forward mount on the triple clamps. We've got actually two mounts on here. So it's forward mount, but in the rearward position. So you have four different positions. Uh, another thing I've done as well is the foot pegs on the Kawasaki, you can lower. So I've dropped the foot pegs. Um, there's two positions on the foot pegs. They're in the lower position. This corner here i normally hit it over there somewhere i hit the wall over there so i'm coming across from that jump i come across here into there so what i'm trying to do now is come out wider into here and what's actually happening i'm hitting the corner here now i'm on the throttle earlier i'm not sort of getting this jerk motion when i'm hitting the wall i'm just on it but what i'm really noticing it is my braking power into the downhill corner there is almost double the amount of braking uh, pressure needed when I get down the bottom there. So must mean it's definitely a faster way through this corner. So we'll just keep working on drills throughout the day. Oh, by the way, I did some lap times. 152 is what I'm doing today. So that's about three seconds down on what I was doing on Thursday last week. So 152 is the target. We're trying to knock that down today. Right, packed up, 
heading home. So what did I learn today? These are the main things I learned today. Aggressive motor made me go slower. More throttle made me go slower and harder braking made me go slower. So I improved my lap times today by four seconds by doing this really simple technique. And I hope some of you learn from this as well. I just focused on maintaining a higher average speed. So by doing that, it meant when I'm coming into a corner, instead of diving in harder under brakes and almost stopping, slowing down a little bit sooner and just gliding through that corner and maintaining a high average speed. I compare it a little bit to mountain bike riding. That's what that kind of felt like then. And I improved my lap time by four seconds. So give that a try at your local track, get out there and don't focus on the, uh, the hard throttle or the hard braking. How's that bike noise again? Getting good at them. Focus on just maintaining your rolling speed. And uh, I proved it today. That's what I'm going to work on because um, I've got some guys I ride with that are pretty competitive speed wise. So I just want to make sure I don't get left behind. So I'll uh, ride with them again this Thursday. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.